what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel we have a mass question which says find the value of x for which the square root of x plus 2 root x is equal to 1. well our first step will be for us to get rid of this square root and we do that by taking the square of both sides so i'll take the square of the left hand side which is the square root of x plus 2 root x and i'll also take the square of the right hand side which is 1. now notice that this square can cancel out the square root leave it behind x plus 2 root x and this is equal to 1 squared is 1. Now, our next step will be for us to get rid of this square root. And I'll do that by isolating what we have here. So, let's move x to the right-hand side so that we have 2 root x remaining on the left to be equal to, we have 1 here. As x crosses to the right, it becomes minus x. Very good. Now, to get rid of this square root, we take the square of both sides. So, I'll take the square of the left-hand side. I'll also take the square of the right-hand side. Now, this square affects the 2, and it also affects the square root of x. So, that means 2 squared gives 4, and then the square root of x squared you notice that the square cancels out the square root, leaving x. So I have 4x resulting from the left-hand side. And this is equal to the right-hand side, I have 1 minus x, or squared. Now, the right-hand side is of this form, a minus b, or squared. And this is expanded as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared now let's expand this like this so we have on the left we have 4x to be equal to now this becomes 1 squared minus 2 times 1 times x and then plus x squared this simplifies into, on the left, we have 4x to be equal to 1 squared is 1 minus 2 times 1 times x is 2x and then plus x squared. Very good. So we have a quadratic equation, but we have to rearrange. Let's move 4x to the right hand side. When I do that, I have 0 remaining on the left to be equal to, this is 1, minus 2x. And when I move 4x to the right, it becomes minus 4x. I've already got plus x squared here. Very good. Now, this simplifies into 0 equal to 1 minus 2x minus 4x give minus 6x plus x squared. Well, this is same as x squared minus 6x plus 1 equal to 0. Now, I'm going to be using the completing the square to solve this question since this quadratic equation cannot be factorized. Well, I choose the completing the square because the coefficient of x squared here is 1 and the coefficient of x is an even number. So I'll take the coefficient of x, which is negative 6, I'll divide it by 2 and square the result. When I do that, negative 6 divided by 2, I have negative 3. And now remember, the result is squared. So I'm going to be using this and I'll add it to both sides of the equation. 
But before I do that, I'll move one to the right hand side so that I have x squared minus 6x to be equal to, when I move one to the right hand side, it becomes negative one. So I'm supposed to do this first before adding this to both sides of the equation. So let's add this to both sides of the equation. So on the left, we have x squared minus 6x. I'll add this, which is plus negative 3 squared. This is equal to, on the right, I have negative 1. I'll also add this, plus negative 3 squared. Very good. Now, the left-hand side now becomes a perfect square of x minus 3. So, x minus 3 all squared. Very good. And this is equal to, now this is negative 1 plus negative 3 squared gives 9. Now, this simplifies into x minus 3 all squared to be equal to negative 1 plus 9 is 8. Now, our next step will be for us to take the square root of both sides. So, I'll take the square root of the left-hand side. And I'll also take the square root of the right-hand side. But this time, I'll be putting plus or minus. The square root of 8. Very good. Now, notice that the square root can cancel out the square, leaving behind x minus 3. To be equal to... The right hand side, this is plus or minus the square root of 8 is same as 4 times 2. Very good. So this becomes x minus 3 be equal to plus or minus. Now this means the square root of 4 times the square root of 2 if we have to separate them. So resulting to plus or minus, the square root of 4 is 2, and then root 2. So finally, we just have to move negative 3 to the right-hand side, so that we have the value of x to be, as negative 3 crosses to the right, it becomes positive 3. I've already got plus or minus 2 root 2 on the right-hand side. So there are two values of x here. The first value is 3. Go with the positive plus 2 root 2. Or the second value is 3. Now this time go with the negative minus 2 root 2. Among these two answers, 1 is our perfect solution. So we're going to check which of these two solutions is correct? So let's check. Check. Recall that our given question is the square root of x plus 2 root x equal to 1. So we're going to be taking the left-hand side because we want to show that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, which is 1. Now let's go for our first solution for x. So let's see when x is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2. So we're going to be plugging this here. So this is x. x is 3 plus 2 root 2 plus 2 root x. x is 3 plus 2 root 2. Remember, the all of these are inside of a square root. Now, I'm interested in this part, this part here. Well, we're going to be applying a property which says when I have the square root of a plus b plus 2 root ab, this is equal to the square root of a plus the square root of b. You notice that what I have here resembles what I have here. So I'm going to be looking for two numbers, which when I add, gives me 3 
and when I multiply, gives me 2. And the only numbers that comes to my mind are 2 and 1. So that means this is the square root of 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 is actually 3 plus 2 root 2 times 1, which gives 2. So this is equal to, if we have to write it in this form, this is the square root of, that means our a is 2 plus the square root of, that means our b is 1. So this is the square root of 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 2 root 2 times 1 is 2 is equal to root 2 plus the square root of 1 is 1. That means wherever I see this expression, I'm going to be using the square root of 2 plus 1. So that means what I have here, which is the square root of, the left hand side is a 3 plus 2 root 2 plus 2. Now, instead of writing this, I'm going to be writing in a bracket the square root of 2 plus 1. Very good. So now let's open up this bracket. So we have the square root of, this is 3 plus 2 root 2 plus, now 2 times root 2 is 2 root 2 plus 2 times 1 is 2. So simplifying further, you see that we have 3. Okay, let's just add it up. This is 3 plus 2, which gives 5. Plus, now 2 root 2 plus 2 root 2 is 4 root 2. And obviously, 5 plus 4 root 2, the square root of 5 plus 4 root 2 is actually bigger than 1. So that means when x is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2, this is never a solution to our given question. So now let's go for when x, which is our second solution, when x is equal to 3 minus 2 root 2. Let's check this. Remember, our given question is x plus 2 root x, which is the square root of x plus 2 root x, equal to 1. So we are picking the left-hand side. Now we're going to be substituting this for x here. So this is the square root of x. x is 3 minus 2 root 2 plus, this is 2 root x, so 2 root x. x is 3 minus 2 root 2. Very good. Now, that property we used, which is of the square root of a plus b, but this time this will be minus 2 root a b because of the minus here. This is equal to the square root of a minus the square root of b. This is similar to the first one we did. The only difference is the sign. So we're still going to be sticking to the two numbers. 3 and 1. So that means this will be 3 plus, okay, 2 and 1 rather, 2 plus 1, which results to 3 minus 2 root 2 times 1. So this is the square root of A will be 2 minus B will be 1. And obviously, this is the square root of 2 minus, square root of 1 is 1. So, in place of this, we're going to be substituting this. So, let's do that. So, we have the square root of 3 minus 2 root 2 plus, this is 2. Then, in place of this, I'm going to be putting the square root of 2 minus 1. Very good. So, this becomes the square root of 3 minus 2 root 2. Now, 2 times root 2 gives 2 root 2. 
and then two times one is one so this is minus oh two times one is two rather so simplifying we have three minus two which gives one minus minus two root two plus two root two is zero so we have the square root of one remaining and the square root of one is always one and this is equal to the right hand side so the only solution we have is when x is equal to 3 minus 2 root 2. This is a take. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.